Hi, this is Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday, and today we're going to make a large hot pad. I have this big old glass pan that's 19 and a half by 13 and a half that always takes at least a couple pot holders to keep it from getting the counter too warm. Instead of that setup, we're going to make a big old hot pad to fit those big old pans. For this project, you will need a 12 inch by 16 inch piece of cotton fabric for the front, a 15 inch by 19 inch piece of cotton fabric for the back, two pieces of cotton batting measuring 12 inches by 16 inches. You could also use one of the products that have additional heat protection. I have a product recommendation for that on debsdays.com. You'll also need some basting spray. I've also posted the supply list on Deb's Days. I've added a direct link in the description right below this video. First, place the backing fabric with the wrong side facing up. Center the two layers of batting on top of that. Place the front fabric, right side facing up, on top of that. We've made a bit of a hot pad sandwich. We need to temporarily secure all those layers together. We will use the basting spray on each layer of batting to hold everything together. Be sure to follow the directions on your can. I've sprayed in between the two pieces of batting to hold them together, the bottom of the batting to hold it to the back, and the top of the batting to hold the front together. I only sprayed half at a time. Do protect your work surface from any overspray. It's a step I sometimes forget that makes me have to do some cleanup duty. Now smooth the layers. Next, quilt the hot pad in any way you wish. I used a marking pencil and my ruler to mark lines two inches apart. I then sewed right over those markings with my quilting foot. But if you'd like to get wild and crazy on yours, with or without a quilting foot, go for it. When the quilting has been finished, we'll be bringing the backing piece to the front to make the binding. Fold the backing to the front until the raw edges are aligned. Press. Fold over one more time. Press. This will make a finished binding. Do that all the way around and clip or pin it to the front. Top stitch close to that open edge. And enjoy your new hot pad. I know I will. If you'd like to see more easy craft projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next week with another project.